so you got a 404 and but this doesn't do much as you can see right it's just returning a text 404 we want it to look good uh, we also want it to have header or footer in case if the user wants to navigate to that so let's add that so I'm gonna go over to this file and I'm just going to copy it to save time so raw and then explain to you what this is okay uh, I've changed the name from custom 404 to error 404 um, so you can keep the name whatever you want uh, what we're doing over here basically is uh, we have the get static props we are doing a query this time get menus because we don't need to get the entire page we don't need the SEO stuff on the 404 page so we're just getting the menus and we have these menus inside of the queries if you remember from our previous videos so if you remember from our previous videos we have these menus already so we have this menu query all I'm doing is just using that query and then passing the data from here I don't need to handle errors here uh, by using that function uh, which was the uh, handle redirects because I'm already on a 404 okay so I'm already on an error page so now this is going to pass the data to this component and then I'm pulling everything from that I'm pulling the header footer header menus and footer menus then I'm using the header so I'm not remember I'm not using layout the reason for this is because the layout has got more stuff going on so you've got your SEO you've got your schema right so I don't want all of that stuff so you have a couple of options either you can pass a prop over here saying that is 404 and then conditional and then conditionally render the head and the SEO let's say if it's 404 don't need to render all of those stuff or you can just use this so that's what I've done over here I've just used the header and footer so you can see I've got header and then I've got footer and then I've just got some custom markup over here uh, just some static markup with static image so now if I go over here and if I refresh you can see that I've got header I've got footer and I've also got sorry no result found back to home so this will take me back to home and just, I've just got a placeholder image which you can possibly change this to another image it's up to you okay great and okay what you also need to do is if you inspect element and look at the network tab what happens so currently the this error page is giving me 200 stat, status it's not giving me uh, 404 is what I'm expecting so I'll tell you why that is go to the projects wiki and you click on 404 I have put a link over there of the documentation from Next.js okay so if you remember in pages let's say slug.js right what we have done is we're saying that uh, inside of get static paths so you know that get static paths is responsible for making a query to your API in this case WordPress and then getting the data from WordPress and then getting all of the pages and dynamically generate the pages at the build time but there will be scenarios where you can have like 10,000 pages and you don't want to build all of those pages at the build time what you probably want to do is just have a few pages let's say 20 or 30 pages which are going to be mostly used by the users uh, you know build at the build time and the rest of them should be happening dynamically so for that we had passed the fallback value uh, over here and we had set that to true which means that the we what Next.js was doing was if you set the fallback value to true then it kind of loads a static page until the uh, query is complete and it generates the page on the fly and then it goes ahead and puts that into cache if you read over here it says that the fallback property allows for generating static pages without needing a full rebuild which is great but it is serving a static HTML file initially and then replace the fully rendered content on subsequent request now this is the reason because it's generating a static HTML file initially while it's generating the entire page that is why you're getting a 200 over here a status code of 200 but it's not good for SEO so what we could do so next just came up with a solution for that they say that in the past few months we've received a lot of feedback from companies that wanted a similar but slightly different behavior 
and that is called a blocking pre-render which means when the user requests for the page for the first time we don't want to have that initial page to be rendered statically we want once we've got the data then we want to show the page so after that the initial render page would be reused for subsequent request but for the very first time we don't want to show the static page okay so if you're new to this i i strongly suggest to go to the incremental static regeneration video in this series and please watch that because that concept is very very important to understand how things are working under the hood for next years and this will be really crucial to you especially when you're working for a project that have got like maybe 30,000 or 50,000 articles on a large project right now the thing with next year's 10 uh, we've uh, solving this case and we are excited to announce that we can do fallback blocking in the get static parts and if we do that that will enable the blocking behavior with no static fallback is sent to the browser instead the initial request is waited for the pre-render so the very first time that page is uh, rendered uh, it's not going to show any static fallback page it's just going to wait for the data to come in and then it's going to render that so if we change that to blocking so let's say I put blocking here now if I hit this page you'll notice you won't get 200 you will get 503 so let's refresh and now if you see you get 404 which is amazing congratulations we solved the problem correct awesome so this fallback value is totally under your control um, it's up to you what you want to keep it and how do you want next year's to behave so because we'll be using it in multiple files it will be better to pull this in a constant so in case if we decide to take a different approach or maybe something else comes in uh, next year's later on in future you all you could do is just use that constant just replace it at one place and it will be replaced everywhere and it is super useful when you're working for a large project because having to update it all the places could be a little tedious okay so what we're going to do is inside of the slug we'll create a constant and we'll name it as export const uh, fallback and we'll put that to blocking okay i'm going to update that value here fallback perfect and we've imported that on top okay awesome perfect so that's taken care of that the last thing we want to do is as I discussed with you that I don't want to generate all the pages statically right uh, if I if my site has 10,000 pages I don't want to generate all 10,000 pages at build time so what I could possibly do over here when we have the get pages URI query which is inside of get static parts we can do first and let's set a constant uh, let's say that I want to generate maybe just 10 pages right so first and then I'm going to use a constant over here so again I'll create a constant export const pages count equals let's say 10 okay I'm going to use that constant pages count I'm going to go to the query and then I'm going to use the this and we just count and just pull it on top okay so what it's going to do is, is generate just the um, okay just for demo let's change it to one and let me show you what happens okay so I change this to pages count to one okay and now if I build it so I'm going to stop this development server and if I say npm run build see what happens so what I expect to happen is that it should only generate a single page at the build time and everything else will be generated when the request comes in in terms of the page if the page exists in WordPress then brilliant is going to use that uh, and it's going to generate that and then if it doesn't exist in WordPress then uh, you're going to get the 404 okay so you can see it's only generated one page because that's what we asked for only get the first one right so now if I do npm run start see what happens I'll go back to 
the local host 3000 So it was the page 4 it generated, right? So if I click on page 4, you can see it's image immediately loaded. If I do page 3, so that didn't exist uh, at the build time. So it generated that and now it's available for you to use. Again, same thing goes for here, okay? Awesome, great. Um, perfect. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coritech. And please do star my repository to support my work. And thanks to all the beautiful 75 people to star this repository. And I really appreciate your support. And if you want to make improvements to the project, like all the beautiful contributors have been contributing this project, please go ahead and do that. Okay. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you did like the video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.